Hi there. Now, in this tutorial, what I want to do is show you the method that we use when it comes to solving equations that take on this kind of form, where we've got the sine or cosine of the combination of two angles, say, that are either added or subtracted. What we do is we essentially expand these brackets using the identities that we should be familiar with, the sine of a plus b here and the cosine of a minus b. And then what we do is we tend to convert the equation that we get into an equation that involves tan theta by dividing through by cosine theta. So that's generally the method and I'll take you through this example. So for this one, We've got the 2 then multiplied by the expansion of the sine of a plus b. a being the theta, b being the 60 degrees here. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with these addition formally. If not, do go back and check my earlier videos. So for the sine of a plus b, we've got the sine then of a, a being theta, cosine of b. That would be the cosine of 60 degrees. Then it's plus the cosine of a, so that would be the cosine of theta, then that's multiplied by the sine of b, b being the 60 degrees. Now we work on the right hand side here and for this one then we've got the cosine of a minus b essentially, where a is theta, b is 45 degrees. And that identity you should be familiar with, it's the cosine of a, that would be theta in this one, cosine of b, so that would be 45 degrees, and then it's plus the sine of a times the sine of b, so that would be the sine of theta, sine of 45 degrees. Now at this point what I want to do is work out what these exact values are for these trigonometric functions, cosine 60, sine 60, cos 45 and sine 45. So we've got the cosine of 60, which is a half. I'll write that at the front, okay? So that becomes a half sine theta. And then next we've got the sine of 60, which is root 3 over 2. And that's multiplied with the cosine of theta. And then on the right hand side here, cosine of 45 and the sine of 45 are both 1 over root 2. So we've got 1 over root 2 there times cosine theta and we've got exactly the same here for the sine of theta. So 1 over root 2 there multiplied with sine theta. Now at this point I can see that if I multiply through by 2 then these 2's here are going to cancel out with that 2 there. Just leaving me with sine theta plus root 3 cos theta. Next I'd want to just multiply both sides by root 2 so I can get rid of the denominator here. So if I do that we therefore have root 2 times the sine of theta plus root 2 times root 3, so that's going to be root 6 times cosine theta and that's going to equal on this side just cosine theta plus sine theta. Now it's at this point that I'm going to divide through by cosine theta. So just put a note here that I'm going to divide through by cosine theta. And if we do that, we end up with root 2, okay, root 2 sine theta over cosine theta, which is tan theta. Here we just end up with root 6, and that's going to equal 1 here. And then sine theta over cosine theta is again tan theta. So we create this equation with one trigonometric function in tan theta. And if I rearrange this, let's say I subtract tan theta from both sides and subtract root 6 from both sides, then 
pulling out tan theta as a common factor, I'm going to have root 2 minus the 1 here, lots of tan theta. And that's going to equal 1 minus root 6. And so if I now divide both sides by root 2 minus 1, I therefore have that tan theta will equal 1 minus root 6, and that is all divided by root 2 minus 1. And from here, I can easily work out what theta is, because if I take the inverse tan to both sides, I end up with theta equaling the inverse tan of 1 minus root 6 then, all divided by root 2 minus 1. Now I haven't given a range for theta for solving this equation. The aim was just to show you that it can reduce down to this. And then from here, you could work out what theta is in any given range. OK, so that's the standard method then for handling equations that take on this kind of form. Expand out the brackets using the addition formulae. Aim to divide through by cosine theta so you get an equation in terms of tan theta. And then you should be able to rearrange it and solve for theta. Okay?